And as you can see, we have Wesley. We're at the Country Club of Lexington. Four. Back. Four. Back. Match number 16, which match 15 was the last one we did, Wesley. I don't remember how it went, but I don't think it went well for me. That's been over a year ago since our last Wesley versus George match. Where was that? Here. Oh, I guess I forgot. Arizona counts. Yeah, Arizona. Uh, didn't uh, go so well. this is match 16. Oh, gosh, the body feels not good. But nine holes, 1v1 to settle who is the best Brian once and for all. Because today's going to turn out. Anyway. Look at the sod coming in behind. We got some, we got some. It's coming your way. Anyway, we'll see you on the first tee. Good luck. All right. Here we go. Very minimal warm up. We also got to get off the tee pretty quick. So we'll probably do the, the, the pleasantries here in a second. But I do have another ball loaded in my left pocket just in case. Yeah, you end up so far right. Nope, I'm playing that one, baby. Oh, no, I'm trying to give him a good opportunity here. Nah, dude, I'm in bounds. It's just the first swing of the day, first full one. I'm I, don't, I, don't, I don't need to hit a second. I'm, I'm okay. I don't need to hit a second, I'm good. You're a driver down for a little bit. You need a little bit of an advantage. And George just absolutely laces one, no need for two. Nope, just as is. All right, so we're actually gonna have an official match here. Look. Good luck. Well guys, welcome back to the channel. We have a fun one. This is match number 17 between Wesley and I, I believe. Match 15 was the one, the last one we had here. 16 was out in the desert. Uh, John Rahm helped caddy me to victory. And here we go, this is gonna be fun. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. We have a lot of fun stuff coming. Uh, chronicling Wesley's journey, the P, uh, his PJ Tour journey. The US Open journey. My quest and Wesley's quest to get into the US Open. Anyway, 1v1, nine holes. Just, you know, maybe I can, Start chipping away. I think I'm down like 10 to 10 to 2 and a few ties, or I don't win very often, but anyway. It's Wesley. It's gonna be a three shotter for him today, but he does lead the tour. We just shotter? found out. I got 255 to the front. In the wind, up into the wind. Not getting there. All right. 255 through it. This is this has got to be coming out low and hot and miss that little wind. I think we got what it takes though. Unfortunately for George. Oh, be right, baby. No way. Are what a shot. Are you kidding me? Just short of the green. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, ah, that was tracking. Put him in a creative position, and he just threads a needle with a three-wood. I mean, All right, 230 uphill. Get about 245 shot. Spinny. It's fine. A little short. It's fine. So here we go. Both of us. Mine, good position. Roll, mine, mine rolled all the way up here. And then rolled back. Um, a lot of green to work with. Greens look nice. Yep. Yeah, that was nice. This has been conceded by the opponent, so I will take my birdie. I will birdie. move on. The next hole, probably with one stroke lead. We got George here going for the high draw approach. And contact was pretty decent. Out of frame. Out of frame, but not out of mind. It's, it's a good putt. Just got oh. it out there a little too far and a little too much pace. It, didn't, it, didn't really, it honestly didn't break. I probably could have played no, it, it, it. No, it's, it's a left left putt. You can go check the tape. Thank you. But that's a, that's a par, and just like we predicted, Leaving this hole with a one truck lead. We got 150 uphill into the wind. Adjusted, it's 155, probably playing like a 165 shot, 160. That could go in the hole. Look out, first hole of one on the channel. I mean, if you were to pull a piece of yarn between this divot and that flag stick, <laughs> the golf ball is literally right in line with it. Just short. Da. Gum it. Hold on, how do we how do we zoom this bad boy? Look at look at this boys. As far as it goes. That's as far as it goes. Yeah. Well I think you can see a golf ball right in line with that flag stick. I mean George, all you can look at is that golf ball. Yeah. Beautiful shot going this Better D than mine. That's distance D, not direction. Speaking of far from the hole, hold on, let me see if, you might be out of frame. 
Oh, no, you're good. Confidence is low after that one. Things are sneaky quick. Ah, oh, that's fine. That's good. Good part. Thanks. Good stroke. Good part. Thanks. Nice part. Should I explain why I feel like the stroke's a little bit wobbly? I didn't get here early enough like I usually would. I, I like to do my same putting routine every single day. I set up the tees or whatever, and I go through my stroke, and I get everything really dialed, and it feels nice. So then when I walk on the first green, it's like everything's good to go. Well, today I was busy scotch guarding some outdoor patio furniture, and kids, one thing led to another, got here late, then George <laughs> made me re-grip his driver, hit yeah, a few golf balls yeah. straight. Yep, third hole, one stroke lead, tough scene. Man, that hybrid looks familiar. Oh, it's nice. It's even got my, I, I put my grip on it. As we were talking about regripping clubs, I've, it's it's officially mine now. Yes, uh, he has not been able to hit a hybrid for like four months. It's cost him cuts, money, and the good big brother I am, I was like, hey Wesley, you want to, you can use my hybrid. Didn't think he'd actually take me up on it because I'm hitting mine nicely, but here, there it is, my old hybrid that he's now striping. And if he plays well the rest of the year. I might I might say thank you because I hadn't said thank hey, you Hey, by yet. golly, we'll know what it's because of. Anyway, hole three. Man, after you just hyped up that hybrid, we got to hit a good one. Yeah, right down the center. Right center, but by golly. That's nice. George, that hybrid looks really familiar and nice. Yeah, it's, huh? it's your it's old 17 degree. Uh, it's it's new compared to this one. Looks like he's going for the little cut ball here. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I mean, might that's, have pulled a pull cut, but. No, that's perfect. It looks like we both got got a good trade out of the deal. And by which you still haven't told me thank you yet. <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys, you can't see it from this angle, but this pin is in a dangerous spot. It's it's on the back left portion of the screen. And this is the site of one of George's dumbest moments on the channel where he had about 85, 90 yards. And it's going to, and I quote, go for the middle of the green to take the big number out of play. So... I'm wondering, since he's left it back here a little bit further at about 125, Downhill if he's still... 120. Yeah, I mean, where's he play 115 and... If he still is going to try and take the big number out of play, or if he's actually going to try and make birdie with a wedge in his hand, like other functioning human human beings, so... 115 shot, let's let Landle Shorts get back there. 115 shot. He's given himself, I don't know, seven yards short, which is a 21-footer, which takes the big number out of play. Good job. It's definitely a little more than 115. Yeah, it's just 25 it's feet. 25 feet short. Not bad. I mean, no it's, big, no big, it's a tough. It's a no tough big shot. Number. No big number. You know it's a tough shot, Wesley. Don't play cool. You land it. You land it at the pin, and it goes over the green. Just like I hope. I hope you do that. All right, I got 115. Play about a 110 shot, but it's a little downhill. Have it skip back to the hole, hopefully, and have okay. it tap in for birdie okay. instead of a 25 footer. Oh, where we can just six, absolutely whiff it. Six shot, man. Absolutely a whiff cake. Hey, dude, six shot. I'm glad. Oh, I'm look so, at that thing ripping back. Dude, I'm so glad you, you know, were playing really aggressive. You know, I was playing aggressive. I was playing aggressive. And I you know, hit a horrible shot. No, the annoying thing is, I was about to hype you up and say, hey, you're the number one player from 75 to 125. I know. Here's a shot. That's what we were trying to do the first time. Dang it. Go in. Ah, it didn't go in. I mean, I can't help that I whiffed it. It's not, it's not like the process was good. Like if everything. That shot, you don't, get, shot. you don't get any more air time for that shot. Second one, yes, first one, no. That's what uh, should have been. Nice. Here we go, mine. Actually, I mean, again, I'm not going to be upset with this. I, Wesley, I am, on the other hand. I'm wildly he disappointed. He should be. Oh, boy, this is not good. Oh, sit down. Sit. Sit down. Stay on the property. Phew. Stay on the property. Stay on the property. Oh my gosh. <laughs> An explosion just went off in my hand. Nice. Wham. Quality putt. It's short. Didn't, a little bit uphill at the get go. I mean, it's just, it, it looks like he's in full protection mode. That one I went, I felt good about it. I just didn't, didn't hit a great putt.
Tough bogey. That's All square. So bad. Of, we're playing stroke play, right? Yeah. I Even mean, through three. <laughs> from 115 yards, this is this is tough. That's tough. Wesley Cam is back by popular demand, and first time I come to you is from a wildly disappointed frame of mind here. That's a bad bogey from 115. That is a bad bogey. Difference between me and George, I'm not gonna let it get to me. I don't feel any better or any worse about my golf game. Gas pedal's on the right, and I'm gonna, gonna stomp down on that thing. 136, playing 142. Yeah, 150 shot. Beautiful strike. Looks to be good distance, but pretty poor direction. Yeah, directionally not. Well, I just thought something is off of the irons right now, just a little bit. Should be really good. Hole in one? No. Oh, gosh, little that right. is so nice. Eight iron? That's right. Yep, little eight nice. iron. Good swing. Into the wind, Cole, you just gotta have those flowy shots. Good swing. Yeah. Justin Thomas S. Yep. Here at the fourth. Quality swing, quality strike. It's blind up the hill, so I can't say quality result, but I'm gonna go ahead and say quality result. A plus. Oh, pot. Thanks. Oh, it didn't break. And there she goes, out of frame. Such a quality putt, just too much pace. All right, at four, Ooh. even. Too much pace. I feel like I let a opportunity slip by there, but now is a perfect opportunity to outdrive George. Nice, it's really good. Really nice. Thank you. The exact same line, right down the middle of the fairway. You got some nice roll. Like 10 to, 10 to 15 past. I don't think so. Bomber George, at your service. How far you got? I got 134. So I got 132. <laughs> right, but my ball landed right here. Yours landed back there. I'll just trick the book. 134, a little downwind, left pin. Just shooting right into the, the abyss. Great light. Yeah, if you, if you want to zoom in on the... Uh, if you want to zoom yes, in Wes's on the carry was farther. I'll give that. I'll give it to him. A lot further. George landed on the down grain back here. It rolled like 10, 15 yards. Probably playing about a 38 to 40 shot uphill. That's pleasant. Good That's swing. a pleasant striking Good swing. experience there. That's fine. Got one. Come on, wind. I mean, just didn't fade. The wind, I mean, I would even argue that it drew. Yeah, I know. It's like, five, I get a five or six out of ten. It's not like, it's not that it didn't fade, it's, it's that it drew. I'm a little off with them. I'm you. off. Not a lot, it's a little. Thoughts through, you know, four and a half holes. I will say, it feels a little off today. Not a lot. You know, I'm even par, which is not great. But again, compared to where I've been the last week or so, I'd say improvements. Not terrible. Let's see, really good shot. This is, this is actually a really big putt, like, for the match. Moving forward, this hole, this putt's big. Sorry for all this extracurricular curricular. And that is never high enough. Never was high enough. Mm -mm. Oh! It's to go right. No. It's supposed to go left. God. Dang it. Good putt. Hey, good putt. Good birdie. 100 for Wesley, even for me. Par 4 6. Goes that way. Let's go. Big boy hole, dead into the breeze. Wow, what a hole today. Alternate tee box. About 460, 470 in the wind. Oh my. Yep, that's uh that is really really good. Didn't even get to the fairway. Brutality. Beauty George. Great ball. Oh Like 30 yard bunker shots, you're gonna like that one, George. What's wrong with that? Well, we got game improvement irons for a reason, but that is so short. 
mean, I, I chunked it. I chunked it. All right, we got George. About a 30 yard sand shot here. Be very happy to escape here. That is a Cut class. Yeah. I mean, that's that's quality. That's quality. Oh, that's coming in hot. That's coming in hot. Bite ball. Uh oh. I mean, wowzers. <sighs> Jeez, muscle your chip before? Some would say I'd be happy to leave here with a par as well after that display. You gotta mentally regroup after that. No. Good pot. Thanks. Crafty. Thank you. Dang it. Dang it. Just when I thought I was going to get one back, I didn't because Wesley actually made a putt for once, but it's fine. Hole seven, par five. One down playing the par five, seven. Three to go. Come on. Hey, we're going to do something different. I always start strong in these matches. You know, we're going to finish strong today. We're going to close it out. I'm calling it. Oh, you're going to get away with it. I mean, what do you mean get away with it? Gosh, don't. Wind is more into the face than off the right, by the way. No, oh, is he going to get away with it? Well, that's actually solid. Is he going to get away with it? Oh, he's going to get away with it. Fairway. Oh, barely. Oh, Maybe. No. Maybe not, actually. Man, we've been hitting our balls kind of close to each other. All right, now it's a good, it's a good time to pause. It's a good time to uh, Let's pause take, for station identification. Pause 10 seconds for station identification. First order business, coming soon. We got a birdie corn ball marker with the Brian Bros logo. And also, see the Roback shirt? You see that logo? We have a Brian Bros Roback shirt coming to, uh, uh, anyway. What a leak. Anyway, let's talk US Open. Hold on, I'm gonna stand right here. Yeah, let's talk US Open. Should I sit? No, let's just stand. So me and Wesley. This next, seems it, uncomfortable. It, it does, but in two this weeks. It seems staged and uncomfortable. But in two weeks, we're gonna be competing in a tournament together for the first time in like seven years. And it's, we know how it's gonna go. I mean, maybe. But Road to the US Open is not mine, it's ours. Are you excited to compete like in a tournament with me to get like, it's been a, it's been a while. Well, I've always been taught, don't look ahead, stay in the present. In okay. the present right now, we're in a match, but how it relates to the Road to the US Open, if you can clutch up these last few holes, show me that you're able to beat me in this match, then chances are, I mean, I got my spot in the US Open. Okay, like, okay. I got my spot. So, if George beats me there, he should have his spot. Yeah, but it's a good tune, it is a good tune up to compete against a tour player in a match because there's gonna be other tour players at that uh, that event. But yeah, I'm excited. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. There, there's, the, there's the stage interview. Um, this, is, this is the road to the US Open. It starts right here, right now, yeah, in the so moment. That's where I'm at. George is looking ahead. He's in British Open, US Open. It's the Open. What? Right. Uh, yeah, Open Championship, whatever. And so anyway, I'm here. I'm here now and I'm trying to win now, right? Here. The next video, we'll talk more about kind of where you, well, I guess you can go a little Wesley cam, but there is going to be a back nine. We're going to play, we'll probably film a couple more videos today. Back nine will be, we might dive more into kind of US Open qualifying together. His PJ tour kind of, he's been gone for like five weeks. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming out in a few days or in a week, depending on when these videos get edited. But no, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun teeing up in a tournament together. Um, it's good to have back on the channel. What do you guys think? How far you got? We got 234 uphill into the wind. We've drawn nice. a little bit of an unfortunate lie sitting down in a. Wow, something smells amazing out here right now. That's why this is mine and not yours, George. You just can't do that. <laughs> can I hit? Can I hit it? Just no. You just you can't do that. That's why you don't deserve to have this club, George. Can I hit it on the next shot? No. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, sick. that was laced. The lie was terrible, too. Wow. Now, this is going to be interesting, Wesley. Oh, so sick. I, I like that a lot. That's a hey. great spot to chip from, and not a bad shot, really. So, I mean, yeah, that, that's, that's a lot of work. Yeah. You deserve that one. Okay, that shot was sick, Wesley, not going to lie. Mine, but that was very encouraging because. You know, this this high rib only had for a week or so, and that shot, if I'm playing a fade into like a par, par five, that's what, that's what I want to see. But if you want a little more backstory on why we switched hybrids, check the Instagram video out. It's gonna be playing right now. Hey, you're you're ridiculous no, by the way. No, this no. is this is amazing. Although I like this club a lot, this Apex U Wood, I do. I like it. Do I like 
the old Apex better that cracked a few weeks ago, and I found one that performs the same. In my it, no, George, this is gonna be. This is such a great trade for you. This is such a dude. You get a you get a tour players hybrid. How many people would kill for that, so Wesley? And I get I get this old beat up. I mean, look at this thing. It looks like it's been through a meat grinder. Hey, this is going to change Wesley's season right now. Heck of a Wesley, deal. If Heck of a you deal, keep boys. your card. <laughs> I'm back. And Wesley, to say I never do anything nice for you, unbelievable. But, hey, guys, if you see him playing well this year, being confident off the tee, you can thank my hybrid. I can't. I got I got USO and qualifier in two weeks. What am I doing? <laughs> Good shot, Wesley. Mom, Thanks, man. I'm somewhere down there, so we'll set the camera up right here. Hopefully, it'll go one. George is... If you're gonna miss this green, that is the spot to miss it. Green light special. Oh, nice bird. Thanks. Oh boy, oh boy, this would be devastating. I know. To go two up with two to play. Oh, we've had hammer hands recently. Yeah, we gotta, I mean, we gotta dial it back downhill, here. Downhill, down, down grain. How low is that? I didn't feel like I hit that that hard. What a bad putt. Yuck. It didn't feel that bad off the blade. I mean, it, it felt not great off the blade. It didn't feel that bad off the blade. Mm -hmm. Yep, Colin rolls in a two under, one under, hole eight. All right, part of, part of tournament preparation is being comfortable through the bag. I've shown you driver, compared to what it's been, moderately comfortable, hybrid. You guys saw what just happened there. Now it's three wood, new configuration here. It's been really nice on the range and stuff, good numbers. Now it's time to put it to the test on the golf course. Yeah. Goal ball. Ooh, that's a fair one. It's right down the right edge. Oh, we got George Tian off in the background here. And as the match stands right now, I've got a one stroke lead with two to play. There you go. I'm gonna have a wedge in my hand here. Hidalgo, Should there have we a go. Clear oh advantage my God, over George. Me. Cat. <laughs> George gets scared by kitty cats over there. So anyway, what? You guys know, it's time for a savage to be a savage. Let's go. We got 99 yards. You good, George? It's it's on. Okay. 99 yards, gently down breeze. Should be a perfect lob iron. <laughs> No, don't spin. Uh, should be pretty good, right? It's just a touch short. That's fine. <clears throat> Thanks. Man, I don't know, how about, I thought I hit a really good drive and I am very nicely in the rough. 78 yards, got to play honestly about a 65 yard shot. Just let it trundle back there. Oh, get down. Get down. That was such a beautiful land about 75. Yeah, this is kind of uh, this is kind of do or die time here for George. It's pretty much ball game. Oh, well played. In all honesty, though, Wesley, this is probably for the match. So you make it. Oh yeah. Two up, one play. Mm, not looking good. Very nice stroke. And ooh. Ooh. <laughs> all right, got life. You know what they say. When you're under extreme amounts of pressure, like I am right now, one up, one to play, the best thing to do is to swing hard. You don't want any tibbiness to come in there. You don't want any like doubt to come in there. When you swing hard and you swing free, good things happen. That's exactly what we're doing here. <laughs> I mean, it's just gonna be, well, it's pointing a little right, but. Why is that not drawing just a touch? It wasn't that bad. But I agree, I agree with that. that. Just, just swing hard. Good things will happen. If you don't want to swing hard, swing it's better. Swinging free is a better tip. That is laced. I mean, absolutely laced. Much better driving uh, performance than the last time I was here. Wow. I mean, that was literally the most perfect ball I've ever seen on this hole. All right, here we go. Here's what's the ball? Checking, checking for roots. The roots. How far? I got 112. 112. Okay. Really good number. Number one wedge player. No, not to put any pressure on you, but I you didn't. are the better, you're the best player on the PJ Tour from this distance. I know. Like number one. I, I, I'm aware, but that's from the fairway. <laughs> Dang. Turn off the lights in here, baby. Uh, distance is really good. Good swing. Right, I want y'all to see this. 
Any copyright issues with that? No. No, that voice. Barring something wild happening here, looks like uh, Daddy just caught another dub. I'm riding up to see my ball right now. Oh, yes. Yes, honey. We got about six and a half feet straight up the hill for bird. George is back there in the fairway. Whoa. Wow, that's bad. It is what it is. It's, it's, another, it's another win for me today. I mean, we still have some unfinished business, but yeah, you can go ahead and go ahead and put it down in the history books. What is happening? These short little freaking wedges. Okay, I know I hit a, an average shot, but I was like, ah, oh, hung it out of the right. Should be, in theory, about 15 feet right. And I came up five to eight yards short. I guess the wind switched because 115-ish is just a full solid 54 degree. And I did miss it a little bit, but not enough. To, <sighs> so annoying. Way better shot than that. Just the wind gust got me. Oh man, is George built for the moment? Probably not. Is this a favorable situation for it? No, not really. One down with one to play, and you're 20 yards off the green, and I got six feet up the hill for bird. And that's not it, folks. I think Usher once sang a song about this, George. It says, these are my concessions. Uh. Nice birdie, man. Major players making major moments happen. That's a great par. That's gritty. Thank you, guys. That's gritty, George. Hey, see you in the back nine. Well, guys, Wes is a victor. You Two dang under. right. No, sorry, three under, one under. Game looks solid, better than what I've seen on the PJ Tour tracker sometimes. I mean, I've had some, I've had some nice we'll talk shining moments. But guys, thank y'all for watching. Wesley uh, says subscribe, so go subscribe. Uh, he appreciates y'all watching. Probably doesn't, but I do. No, I'm kidding. I don't really care that much about the like button, but the comments and the no, subscription like and all that stuff. Yeah. It's gonna have you back. Good luck. See ya. See ya. Hope y'all enjoyed it.